Hello, my name is Daniel, and I am a rising junior at Gunn High School in Palo Alto, California. And this is my project. This is a cellular connected GPS tracker. It consists of an Arduino on the bottom and a shield called the SIM 7000G. And connected to the shield is an is a antenna with both GPS and LTE capabilities. And my first milestone was was when I got the the shield to to uh, receive GPS uh, to to uh, acquire GPS satellites and able and make and have it able to print out GPS coordinates with the tracker and have the shield able to connect to an LTE network. But first, in the beginning, I had to solder all these pin headers uh, onto the shield. After I'd done that, I connected the shield onto the Arduino and I powered the contraption by using five volts. Uh, from my computer to the Arduino and a 3.7 volt battery to the shield. After I'd done that, I loaded the Arduino with some example code from the shield manufacturer, which allowed me to test all the capabilities of the shield. And using the Arduino serial monitor, I was able to turn on the GPS receiver, and after standing outside for a couple of minutes, I was able to successfully able to connect to acquire GPS satellites and print out the GPS coordinates of the tracker. So the next step was to get the, uh, the shield to connect to an LTE network. But there was a small problem. In the be uh, it's supposed, when you power the shield on, it's supposed to connect to an LTE network automatically. But uh, for, some, for whatever reason, it wasn't doing that. So after a couple of hours of reading some documentation online on GitHub and various other websites, um, I found out that with a specific variant of the, the shield that I had, it was necessary for me to force the shield to use LTE. Uh, the shield has the capability to fall back to 2G or edge networks uh, if LTE wasn't available. So after I'd done that, and after waiting a couple of minutes, it was successfully able to connect to an LTE network. And what's cool about it is that the shield uses a hologram SIM card. Uh, the, and the hologram SIM card allows the shield to use any cellular network anywhere in the world and the shield will automatically connect to the network with the strongest signal. And in this case, it, it connected, automatically connected to Verizon's uh, cellular network. So my next step is to get the shield to send GPS coordinates over the LTE network and be able to view them from a computer. Thank you for watching.